Hey guys, it's Caden. I'm out here wearing a brain-computer interface, a brain-computer interface system that we're building at Blueberry. It's called Blueberry, which is the cheapest brain-computer interface in the world, in the whole world. You can get a BCI for 200 bucks and start hacking with it. Do it! A Fitbit or a Whoop or an Apple Watch can give you insights into your heart rate, your heart rate variability, blood pressure, these types of physiological body-based metrics. With FNIRS, since we have the same type of PPG technology on the head, we can understand all of those same things. But since it's a brain sensor and not just PPG, it also gives us the ability to understand mental metrics. So you're probably thinking, okay, it's pretty sick, Caden. You know, you're wearing a computer on your head that scans your brain. But what do you do with it? Well, I'm gonna show you a couple things that you can do with a Blueberry BCI. First up, we're gonna run around this lake. We're gonna start at this RV, which is my house, and we're gonna run around. BCI Maps is an overlay of everywhere you've gone in the geographical space. The color is changed based off of your physiological metrics. Sprinting's about to happen. Let's go. BCI Maps! Yeah, bye. We're gonna look at BCI maps, which are showing heart rate. My campsite, where I had collected a lot of data, and this is where I made the overly ambitious decision to run around the entire lake. I might have failed on the mission of running around the lake. Took off on a short run, and here is where I ran up the highway. And then down here, realized there's no way that I was gonna run around this lake. I can't, I can't run around this lake, man. Look at all these trees. Who, who put all these trees here? I ran back across the highway. Time to start sprinting. Ran down hard, then I ran back again, and then I ran hard down again. I jogged her back. You can see my heart rate cooling down after the run. Something really fun to look at is your stress while you drive. When you get close to downtown Toronto on a major highway in a 26 foot mobile lab, stress is gonna start going up. You gotta protect that thing. That vehicle's your house, and your home, and your life, and your lab. I'm gonna show you BCI maps with stress overlaid on top. I wanna tell you a quick little story. When I was rolling in the RV lab, I had a COVID-19 vaccination that day. Threw the address into my Google Maps and off I went. I was chilling. Everything was going well until I got to the location. It was the middle of nowhere. I was in the middle of a field. That was the moment at which I started to get a little bit stressed, messed around, called some numbers, finally found out where it was, and then drove up the 10 minutes or so that it was away from there to go to the right spot. And uh, once I got there and saw that everything was fine at the vaccine spot, I felt fine. Everything was good to go. I think you're gonna be able to see how we can use brain computer interface to help us understand more about our lives and to help us see how we respond to environments. And this for me is a lesson in chill out, man, who cares? Thank you so much for tuning in to see use cases of brain-computer interface that exist today. Look at this, you can't even get, you can't even get across. I would have been swimming. It's dog tooth lake. I thought it was shaped like a dog tooth. Get this dog an orthodontist.